Now all new at six, we take you inside a training exercise at Florida Atlantic University for emergency medicine physician residents. It's part of what's called FAU Disaster Day. CBS 4's Deborah Souverain reports on the simulation that's designed to save lives. And you can see one of those simulations going on behind me. Now these doctors had to go through a series of mock trainings to prepare for these simulations. They weren't told exactly what happened. All they know is that this is a mass casualty event and they have to do all they can to save as many lives as possible. So the goal is basically to have the trainees be exposed to something that is as realistic as possible. And this all felt very real. Their adrenaline is pumping. These doctors are tasked with doing whatever they can with limited resources to treat 40 victims involved in a mass casualty incident. These incidents, unfortunately, have become common across America. And the first time Florida Atlantic University's Schmidt College of Medicine conducted this simulation, it was right after South Florida suffered a tragedy of our own. First time we did this training for them was directly right after Parkland happened. And so it's something that I think hit really close to home. So close to home that now a mass shooting simulation is also a part of training. Again, in this situation, these doctors have no medical information about these actors. All they know is that they're critically injured and need help. And with the current escalating conflict in Ukraine and the possible need for in the field medics in the future, FAU wants to make sure these doctors are prepared. Yeah, the resident physicians do understand that this is something that can happen here. Um, you know, and obviously everybody's been watching the news over the last week and everything that's going on in Ukraine. So you just never know what, you know, when you might run into an incident like this. Just last year, there were a record number of mass shootings. So in this day and age, these types of trainings are vital. Reporting from Coconut Creek, I'm Deborah Suverain, CBS 4 News.